Hi, I'm Suya. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to paint a wet wet landscape painting in oil color. Swiss Alps. Enjoy! So I looked for a, a picture of the French Alps, since this is a French-themed week. But there weren't very many. And they share the Alps with Switzerland, so here are the Swiss Alps. So I put some thin white paint on the canvas first and touch that with some phthalo blue without leaving it a solid color, just here and there until I got the kind of sky I was looking for, wispy clouds. And with a very dark color on the palette knife, combination of crimson um, blue, brown, black. So these are the mountains, the Alps in the background, and <laughs> scraping off the extra paint and brushing it out with a large brush so that they fade down into the space beneath. And with a thick white paint on the palette knife, very gently drawing the palette knife over those mountains in different directions to give the idea of snow atop the Alps. And adding some dark color to that white will get the shadowed side of those peaks. And we'll just blend it in with the, with the brush so that it slowly fades out. Now these mountains have after the peaks that are on top, they slowly go down towards a, an area full of grass trees, dark green foliage. So with a very dark green mixed with black, we'll just touch that in underneath those mountains. And the idea of this is, underneath those peaks, there are many rolling hills, one after the next. So using a round brush or a one inch brush, just one overlapping onto the other, varying shades of green hills, they can be trees or they can be bushes or just grass. There were many beautiful pictures of the Alps. Some of them with a small village nestled between these hills. And not all of them were bright green, there were some darker parts and some more yellowish parts. So I put that in sort of a patchy hillside that different areas are different brightnesses of green. And I do that simply by mixing the brush into the new color, whatever I was using before, without cleaning it, and just continuing with a different color, so that it mixes together and becomes something else. And I left a bit of a white space in between, just to show that it's not exactly, it's not the same one, it's one behind the other. And here using the palette knife and brown and red paint, I touched in a few houses here and there, very simple structures. You can just blow them down. So this is a small village nestled between the hills under the towering peaks of the Swiss Alps. And with some very bright yellow-green 
and dotted in some trees here and there. Since if people live over there, they've got to have some trees right next to them. And we'll add some trunks with the palette knife and brown paint and some paths here and there connecting the houses together. And we keep moving forward so we'll just add some more <clears throat> detail to the background using the fan brush and a darker green shade. We'll put some trees back there in the ring around the mountains. And ones that are closer up as well. And for the front part of this painting, I thought it would be nice to have flowers. So I tried that. On a bright green grassy area up on the hilltop from where my viewpoint is. And I dotted in different color flowers. But as I was getting carried away with all these flowers, I soon realized that I didn't actually want flowers over there. It didn't look realistic enough. They looked too close to the size of the houses. They were too bright in comparison. So I worked very hard on those flowers. It took a while to get all those colors in. It was very colorful. And I put in a lot of blades of grass that were brightly colored also. But in the end, I decided that this wasn't going to be how my painting looked. So after finishing up with all these flowers, I decided that there has to be something else instead. Took out some dark paint, like I used for the mountains in the background. Combination of green, blue, red. And I darkened up that hill in the front and added a few trees on the left. And made that front grassy area look like lots of blades of grass close up. And still using the same dark paint, I emphasized those hills in the background. Added some highlights to the trees in the front and gave them some trunks. Using the palette knife, I cut into the paint and moved it aside to make space for small twigs, grasses, and that's a good trick to putting in a lot of fine detail. Just if you have if you have enough paint, you can cut it out with the palette knife small lines here and there, and that gives the appearance of different stalks, twigs, and brush like that. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this landscape video. If you did, check out my other ones, give them a like, 
and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.